Welcome to another example question involving constant acceleration in one dimension. I'm Mr. John from explainingmass.com. What's going on? It says two cars are initially 36 meters apart traveling in the same direction along a straight horizontal road. The car in front is initially traveling at 10 meters per second but decelerating at 2 meters per second squared. The other car travels at a constant uh, yeah, with a constant velocity of 15 meters per second. Then we have to model the cars as particles, and by finding the distance traveled by each car after t seconds, we have to show that the distance between the two cars is 36 minus 5t minus t squared meters. Find when they would collide if neither car takes uh, avoiding action. Okay, um, a lot of information. Let's indeed make a, a sketch of the situation. So we have two cars. Let's say car A is over here, and we have car B over there and uh, the first car is what is it, uh, doing the car in front is initially traveling at 10 meters per second so this car has u let's call that b yeah? we're driving in that direction u is 10 but it's decelerating so a is minus 2 okay and what else are they saying that the other car has a constant speed so u equals 15 for car a there we go uh, a is zero because it has a constant speed and they say that the distance between the two initially is 36 meters there we go so the distance is 36 now using all of that information we have to show that the distance between them can be given um, as an expression like that so let's find the um, displacement uh, of car a I'll do that in red so sa sa there we go uh, Let's pick ut plus half at squared. Yeah, so you take one of the equations of motion uh, that suits um, this situation best. So sa equals ut, so it's initial velocity ut, and then the rest is zero because it has constant uh, velocity, so the acceleration is zero. Now we're going to do a similar thing for car B. So the displacement for B, so SB, we're going to use the same equation, ut. So 10t plus a half a t squared, so a minus 2 t squared, but we're going to add 36 there at the end. Because compared to car A, car B already traveled 36 meters. Okay, if we simplify that, so SB uh, then will become 10t minus t squared, a uh, half times minus 2 is minus 1, plus 36. Okay, fantastic. Now they are asking, uh, what are they saying? Show that the distance between the two cars is 36 minus 5t minus t squared. Now how do you find distance or the difference? That will be this expression. Take away that expression. So 10t minus t squared plus 36 minus 15t. And if you would simplify that, you're going to get minus t squared minus 5t plus 36. Yeah, I'm not much, I'm going to squeeze it in here. So I'm going to get minus t squared, uh, 10t minus 15t, so minus 5t plus 36. And indeed, that's what they say. Uh, we have to show that the distance between the two cars is 36 minus 5t minus t squared meters. Okay, find when they would collide if neither car takes any action. And that will happen when their displacement is equal. So when 15t, I'm going to get that in here, when 15t is equal to 10t minus t squared plus 36. There you go. So when their displacement is equal, then they will collide. Okay? That's a quadratic equation. So um, you can if you if you rearrange it, you're gonna get t squared plus 5t, uh, rearrange it and simplify it, minus 36, equal that to 0, eh? because quadratic equations, we equal to 0. You can factorize this, t plus 9, t plus 9, and the other uh, will be t minus 4, equals 0, and therefore t can equal, I'll do that in blue, it's very messy, t can be negative 9, or t can be 4, but of course the negative value we have to disregard because we're not time traveling, so t equals 4. So apparently if neither car takes any action after 4 seconds they will collide. 
Um, would it be necessary, question B, to revise your answer to part A if the cars were not modeled as particles? Give reason uh, to support your answer. And I would say, uh, yes, you should revise your answer because you don't know if the cars are the same. Perhaps one car is uh, yeah, um, having more air resistance than the other. Uh, you don't know uh, what the drivers are like. Because perhaps one of them is a little bit more talented uh, than the other. So, yes, I would revise um, my answer to question A. Uh, however, luckily, we always regard, in these types of questions, we re regard cars, in this case, as particles, so normally we do not have to take that into account. Okay, I hope that was useful. Check my website, explainingmaps.com, for all the other free resources. Take care.